Hello and welcome to this series on augmented reality. My name is Anurag Rana and I'm going to be taking you through a series of tutorials on how to realize augmented reality apps on your computer mostly using free tools. So let us get started. Augmented reality or AR. Now what exactly it is and before we start jumping into everything it is best that we first of all define it. Now the definition of augmented reality is superimposing either text or information in the form of visual over a real life feed and this is something which you superimpose over your world view and that is what we are pretty much going to achieve however it is best understood with the help of examples now we are going to take two examples over there for the first example i recommend that you head over to youtube and check this particular example now if you search for acts Angels London Metro. There you go. So open up the YouTube link and take a look at the YouTube video. So this is what it pretty much throws up us. It's got a scene of a London Underground Metro and one fine particular day. So most of the people are walking across and suddenly they've got this huge screen and as people stand over there, they see an image of themselves in the video. But the difference is, in this particular view, now they will suddenly start seeing an angel. There she comes, drops right across from the heaven. So now this is supposed to be an example of the Axe Dio, whose tagline is angels will fall. So now people are seeing themselves, but they're also going to be seeing an angel across with them. So that's one example. And without spending too much time over it, we'll come back to our this particular series. However, there is another example which is 110 stories. So take a look at this example now. If you search Google for 110 stories Twin Tower iPhone app, then basically this is the app. What you do is after the Twin Towers were demolished, now people came across with this iPhone app. In fact, it was uh, by a developer who started it using Kickstart and it's got a website 110 stories. So when you take your mobile to a particular location in New York, you point at it towards the skyline, you will see a silhouette of the World Trade Centers where they used to exist and you could see it from various angles. So that is the second example. You must check them out. But now with these two examples, we also can now categorize AR applications and let's look at it from a couple of angles we'll form a 2 by 2 matrix and this is vision based augmented reality and location based and the platform choice of platform will be mobile or PC web and by that I also include Mac Okay, so there's no PC versus Mac divide. So the YouTube video which you saw was a vision-based augmented reality being played out on a computer. And the 110 stories app which you checked out was a location-based app being mapped across on a mobile devices. Now generally on the mobile devices, you can play both of them. And uh, we rarely have location-based AR application on the PC and Mac. Now going ahead, this is what we are going to be focusing upon. But before going ahead, let's since we'll be leaving out the location-based augmented reality, let's exactly see how it works or how it used to work in the World Trade Center. So you'll have a mobile device. Now, this mobile device is being pointed in a certain direction and let's say this direction now is the New York skyline. So the vantage point where you're sitting, this particular location will be obtained through the GPS in the mobile and the direction it is pointing will be using the compass. So the point at which you're standing in the world and the location towards which you're pointing will allow your computer to realize where you're looking at. So when the scene is going to be seen through the computer, it can very easily calculate and superimpose how the twin towers would have looked from this vantage point. Nevertheless, since it is vision based and PC applications is what we will be talking about. Now let's start focusing on this. So let's come to the point to do what we are going to do is we are going to do vision based and on a computer platform aug 
augmented reality and very important using free fair enough now before we jump into this what we need to do is we need to understand a little bit about theory okay now what can you do with this what can you do with this so here's what you can do you can create applications for yourselves and this platform is ideally suited to make games storybooks mostly educational and for children and in fact that's what many of the people have emailed me asking this is the platform which they want to develop to how should they go about it fair enough now before we jump further into this we are going to be talking about a little bit of theory correct to do theory now this is what is important so in theory what we will start out with this is the big bad world out there and prima facie this world needs to be captured using some sort of a camera device so that is the basic input now what happens is this feed is generally sent to a program which has to take care of the video plus some sort of 3d manipulation which is you will have a 3d asset which could be for example as simple a thing as a cube or it could be as complex a thing as an angel whichever you wish to manipulate and superimpose with the world now comes the wonderful part this is where you need what is known as a computer vision computer vision or augmented reality based library what this library has to do is in this world since we are talking about computer vision based must occur a pattern of some sort which as it goes into the video has to be detected okay so it is this computer vision library which is going to detect this pattern and then send the information okay and it has to go aha pattern detected if pattern detected yes where is its location for example in the view the camera is saying oh I see a pattern and it is on the lower center so then based upon these two informations this program will generate the necessary output where you will see the live view as is but based upon the information where the pattern was detected your augmented reality object either the cube or the angels will be generated so that's a little bit of a theory and now what are the tools which are required to implement it after all we are going to be talking about practice not theory so here's the deal the system which handles input in the form of a camera the program which handles the video and 3d object manipulation and the output display is generally handled by one system and we have to import a different library in order to do that so ladies and gentlemen here comes the crux or the important for our system of handling input output and 3d manipulation we will first of all use processing and then move on to a more advanced system called unity 3d however our library for computer vision and augmented reality is what we are going to use nyar tool kit now please pay attention all of these are free tools which are available for mac pc and linux platforms i'm sorry unity is not available for linux but processing in nyr and i'm assuming most of the people will be developing on this the application which you write can very well be run on all these platforms and uh, let's just go and take a look at some of these tools so processing is available on www.processing.org you can go download processing processing is available for windows for linux and for mac systems 
that takes care about processing. Unity 3D is available on www.unity3d.com. It is a very, very easy compared to other game developing software platform to start creating games. You can go ahead and download the same and it's once again available for Mac and Windows platform. And let's talk about the NYAR toolkit rather than giving the, the domain or website itself. Google is your friend. If you search for NYART toolkit, you should get a couple of uh, links. The very first link, if you go ahead and open it, it is although in Japanese, but you shall have an English version. And within this version, what you will realize is that you have a source code library from where you can download and you have the same available for processing. Here it is NYAR for PSG. And bang opposite, you have NYAR Toolkit 4.0.0.a for Unity 3D. These are the two we are looking for. So my recommendation is go ahead, download these two, take a look at the links, Angels Add, and you will realize what augmented reality is all about. So with that, I would say thank you. And we shall meet you in part two of this tutorial where we will be talking about practice and not theory and in case if you want to reach me out say a hello my name is Anurag Rana and I am available on www.anuragrana.com and you can just go take a look at my about page and learn a bit about me so until next time please take care see you then happy augmented your reality bye bye